Today I'm going to take a quick look at this track stick, which is a portable GPS logger, which you can plug into a PC and just download the logs and it'll show you on a Google map or export a standard file, which you can use to uh, track where something's been. I'm sure it's just by creepy ex-boyfriends who are buying this, but this thing came, I think on eBay, I got it with something else. But uh, yeah, it runs on two triple A's. You have to power it up in order to actually plug it in. It's not, um, it's not bus powered at all, really. So it's in a little rubber case. And unfortunately the software for this doesn't seem to work under Windows 10, or at least wasn't working on my system. And to make things even worse, uh, I've never actually gotten this thing to get a GPS signal. I had this thing powered up. I had it in my pocket for a day. I took it to work and wandered through New York and nothing. Never even got a hint of a signal. I've left it outside in the, with a clear view of the sky and nothing. So I'm expecting, instead of like a little ceramic antenna, this thing probably has like some kind of cheap ass PCB antenna, which it's using for GPS location. So that might explain why it's uh, so terrible, but I guess we'll see once we get into it. It's just a plastic case with a little bit of um, rubberized molding on the side. Oh, it does have a proper ceramic antenna. Well, that is very disappointing. Oh, well, there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here. I wasn't expecting too much in this thing, to be honest. I thought it was just going, going to be a, uh, basically an off the shelf microcontroller with just like a little GPS unit. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see an FTDI RS-232 interface. I know this thing identifies as a USB serial device and a clock crystal for that, a little bit of power supply stuff, a little Atmel microcontroller. I mean, you really don't expect it to do much because all it's doing is reading a serial interface from this and then just logging it with some flash, which I assume is this guy or possibly this. This is probably the, this is probably the flash and this is probably just like the uh, code for the chip, assuming it's not stored internally. Telespile? Spiel, Spile Systems, Track Stick version 405. The design of this GPS unit is actually kind of interesting. There's the standard ceramic antenna on top, so kind of surprised it didn't get much of a signal. Probably broken, probably explains why it wasn't working properly on my computer. It is stacked. There's a bunch of pins that come down through here. They kind of got ripped off when I took it off the board. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be a connector or not. No, they're, they were soldered. So uh, yeah, that just ripped off the board, no big deal. And it's all metal can, and if you take the GPS antenna off with the main connector, so under it, there's actually another board, and I'm not sure entirely what this board is for. It has a couple solder points to the board. Oh, there's actually a chip on there, hang on. Okay, so the main arm CPU for the uh, GPS unit is actually hidden under there. I was thinking it was just like a little single chip or something hiding in here, but uh, yeah, this one looks like it's just the RF circuitry. Clock crystal, uh, SIG E 4100L. That's interesting. It looks like that serpentine trace just goes from the ground plane over to here. I wonder why it's all squiggly like that if it's not actually a transmission line. A little odd. I'm sure RF people know a lot more about that than I do. And yeah, there's just the assortment of passive stuff and that's probably a little amplifier or something. This connects to the board using these little flexible pins that interface with these pads. And yeah, like I said, that's the uh, ARM-based main controller on this thing. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. I like the I like the design of stacking multiple PCBs to keep the uh, the footprint small. A lot of the units I have are separate. They they're they're GPS controllers, and then they have a separate ceramic antenna. I've never opened one up, so maybe this is kind of common. But uh, yeah, I do like the stacked design. There's not too much on this thing other than the microcontroller and the USB controller and the GPS unit, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, they've managed to shrink quite a bit of stuff and put it into this. Oh yeah, and there's also a little 
LED for status. I think it's kind of neat. I don't really have a use for it, even if it was working. I, you know, I would probably just end up attaching it to one of my cats and see that they don't leave the house. And yeah, no harm in this thing not working. 